One, two, three. Let's begin. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my 2020 goals and this exposure is a little bit too much. And I just wanted to share them with you guys. Last year, I decided to create some goals. I don't think I did a video on them. I don't think that happened. But I accomplished almost all of them. And I was very proud of myself. For this year, I wanted to do the same thing. So today, I'm going to share with you my goals for 2020. They're not anything big but i like doing them so so the first one that i have is regarding my appearance 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 i talked about this on the vlog that you guys are gonna see when i do my hair you will see that after this video but on the past few years i just stopped really i really stopped caring about how i looked and there's nothing wrong with that that's nothing wrong with that but the reason why i went that route i guess best way to put it is because my skin was being really bad and breaking out really bad and I just didn't know what else to do about it it was very frustrating because I've never suffered with any skin issues and it was just horrible it was so bad I just didn't like it so I stopped I started wearing makeup all the time that's like way back when so I was wearing makeup every day doing my full face of makeup but that wasn't helping with the acne because I'm pretty sure that's what was making me break out so I made the executive decision of a stop wearing makeup all, all together and see if that will affect my skin on a positive way and it worked so since then I literally stopped wearing makeup no makeup at all and I did saw some benefits from it which I can do a video on it if you guys want but I saw a lot of good benefits on it so I just scratched makeup out of my way but the downside of that is that I look like shit <laughs> most of the time I mean I do like myself how I look without makeup but I mean everyone always looks better with a little bit of makeup like that's just a fact especially when you're at work and you look like shit and you look tired like that's just not the best look to give you know but i just didn't care i just wanted my skin to be clear and i feel like we have achieved that so for this year i just wanted to put more effort on my appearance and try a little bit harder nothing too crazy definitely foundation is out of the question just because it will make me break out but concealer mascara mascara eyeshadow brows yeah just like a little bit of makeup especially a wing eyeliner i love wing eyeliner and i think it looks really good on my eyes <laughs> i don't know so i'm gonna start doing that and i already started at the end of 2019 but tomorrow is like the first official day that I'm gonna start doing that and also put more effort into my outfits so when I go to work I do put a little bit of effort like I look presentable because I have a dress code but when it comes to like my everyday life and my other job my part-time job I look like shit all the time like absolutely I'm like what the fuck am I wearing so we're gonna be changing that in 2020 number two is related to YouTube so my goal is I put here to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year um, I don't know if that will be possible but I would like to reach that but whatever amount I get I'll be happy with um, as long as I'm growing I'm okay with but that's just a call for YouTube and then another thing related to YouTube is to continue to do consistent videos I have a bunch of videos planned already this is a call that I gave myself last year and I stuck to it pretty good and it feels really good to have done that I created good content in my opinion that I like doing and I was consistent with it. It took a lot of work but I did it bitch and it felt good so we're doing that again this year. <laughs> okay this is another one that <laughs> you probably don't know because you don't know me in person but it's to be a little bit nicer. So I'm a very but there's certain environments and certain situations that bring the bitch out of me like 100% I don't know what it is it just happens one of the scenarios is me driving my goal for 2020 is to just be nicer i used to be if you knew me when i was younger i used to be the happiest child ever and somehow it just <laughs> degraded i mean i'm still a pretty happy person but for the most part i'm always complaining whining and just in a bad mood and i just don't want that to be me anymore so i want to make the change for 2020 to be nicer 
and just be more happier and grateful i guess because that's just something that i struggle with don't ask me why i cannot tell you why but it's just a thing i'm just being truthful right now so yes that's one of that's probably one of the biggest goals i want to work on for 2020 and then i have to work out and the reason why i put this in is because i do work on an office so i'm sitting for eight hours and it just affects my joints especially my knees and it just always feels so good when i go to especially hot yoga is my favorite one i don't know how to describe it it's a really good feeling and i literally stopped doing it last year because of financial reasons i just cannot pay for it because i'm paying for my loans right now so i'm gonna make an effort if i have extra money to go and take yoga classes because they're really close to my house they're five dollars they're very affordable and it feels really good to go and it feels really good afterwards on my body so another one we're going into financial goals so y'all know if you you probably don't know but i have pretty big loans from college that i was paying the minimum and they were growing instead of going down and i'm like <laughs> no i found asia damn youtube and she inspired me to pay my loans more aggressively i talked about this in my last video of 2019 if you want to know what happened in 2019 on my 2019 watch that video because i went through all of, all of it it's not the happiest video but we got this one which is better <laughs> so i should have been done with my loans my private loans on december but that didn't happen so i'm scheduled to be done on february with those loans so that's one of my goals and then my other goal is to pay my public loans uh, I have them scheduled to be done at the end of 2021 so I still have a little bit long for that one but we're paying this off um, it's just something that I just want to get rid of I definitely did not take advantage of the opportunities that I had when I was younger and it pisses me off and it just angers me that I was stupid <laughs> and naive and not take advantage of that period in my life and just really put my money towards my loans because i would have been done by now like i would have been done by now my brother just recently graduated on may and he merged them together and his payment plan is 15 years long like what like no like i don't want to be paying my loans for that long i want them fucking gone so we're taking those measurements in two years i should be out of this house hopefully maybe in another state who knows but that's the goal but we're not there yet so right now pay my loans and i also have to pay my credit cards because my credit cards have gone a little bit higher than what i like them to so i want to get them knocked down and not use them anymore so that's also i have them scheduled to be done on april and then i will not have more credit card debt i put here moving out but i don't think that's gonna happen this year but you know i put it in there just to like bring the energy into my life for the future so i have move out as another goal for 2020 um i also have to save money because that's something that i'm not good at is saving money i used to be really good at saving money when i was younger like i will save every single penny but I don't know what happened, I grew older and I just want to spend all my money. And it's just because, um, I don't know if someone else has this mentality, but I feel like, okay, this is sounds so stupid, but I feel like saving money is kind of, okay, okay, let's just rephrase this. Living your life out of fear is so stupid, and I feel like our whole society is just built in fear, like insurance for everything, like, and it's just I don't understand it like I don't get it like you can literally die tomorrow and you wasted all your money on like stupid things so or like they're saving so someone else is gonna use your money that's kind of like my mentality and it has hurt me a lot and I know it's very stupid and you should save your money for your future but at the same time you can literally <laughs> die tomorrow and not enjoy your money so that's kind of how i think about it and i know it's very stupid and i'm trying to change that mentality as much as i can yeah that's kind of how i think which is a horrible way of thinking don't think like me but it's just my head you know then another thing that i put is to make more money i do have two jobs but it's still not enough to pay what i want to pay for my loans as aggressively if i want to pay i'm definitely struggling a little bit i can always take money from the loans but i don't want to do that so my goal is to find another way hobby 
I don't really know another way to make my money like another income and then lastly but not least for this year I want to switch into a more sustainable life so I live a pretty sustainable life in my opinion but I still produce so much trash and it's ridiculous I just don't understand how that happens I do order online a lot like a lot <laughs> and it just creates so much trash I also order from very cheap not sustainable places and I just want to switch that because first of all it's better for the environment and I feel like it would be better for my wallet as well so when you shop a more sustainable brand they tend to be pricier so I would to be able to buy everything I want to buy because I can afford it so I can just buy one thing instead if I call this say for 21 that for the price of that one thing I can get 10 things so it's just I don't know it's just my mentality I think it would benefit my wallet and it also benefits the environment as well and it's just a good thing to do so yeah those were my goals for 2020 i just want to put them out there let me know what your goals are for this year even if it's one leave them in the comment down below because i would love to know i love watching these videos they're very motivational and inspiring to me i don't know and also don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy and i'll see you in my next one bye